Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lieutenant Stephen Rogers. A few minutes ago, I had posted a brief response to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau uh, after he outrageously criticized the United States of America and the decision made by the United States Supreme Court regarding the abortion issue. Now, the reason why I am on here right now is because I want Justin Trudeau and his supporters to hear it directly from me. In my view, putting it on paper, posting it is not enough. They need to see me and they need to hear what I have to say. A lot of people in Canada and across America have emailed me and asked me to uh, come on tonight very briefly to share those words so that they can share what I am about to share with you with their friends and neighbors across both our nations. So folks, here's what is happening right now. The United States Supreme Court ruled that abortion is an issue that will be taken up by the states. It hasn't been banned, it hasn't been outlawed, it hasn't been uh, uh, taken away from anybody, but it has been, according to our constitution, uh, given back to the states. Something that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau doesn't understand. Now his words were this, he said that the news coming out of the United States is horrific, and Mr. Trudeau, I'd like to know what is so horrific about a people in a free country living on a foundation called the Constitution of the United States. That is what is supposed to be happening in your country. It should be a country of the people, by the people, and for the people, based on what? Your charter of rights and freedoms, as we base our country's laws on the Constitution of the United States of America. Now, I'm not surprised, Mr. Trudeau, by your comments. I'm not surprised by the comments of many of your supporters who have quickly, quickly responded to my remarks. But I'm not surprised because you are indeed a communist. You're a communist in my view and the view of people all over this world. And a lot of people, a lot of people who are in very strong, influential leadership positions in countries across this globe. You're a communist who despises my country's constitution which gives the people the right to govern and not the government the right to dictate to the people. Unlike you and your government, our federal government cannot in no way, shape or form dictate to the people. We believe in limited government. We believe in a people that will rule the government, not the other way around. And obviously you think differently. So this is why I am not surprised by your comments. Now, if your country, does or, or if your country would do what we do with regard to the laws of the land, if you will, with regard to legislation, with regard to governing in a manner that will ensure that it is the people, the people who will co control the government and not the other way around, you'll understand a few things. You'll understand like we understand in America, that we have courts, that we have due process, that we have a 10th Amendment which limits the power, that's right, limits the power of tyrants like you. So our government, our federal government is not built and founded on the whims of one person like the president or the whims of any ruler. Our government is founded on the principle of a government that will be of the people, by the people, and for the people. If your country had a 10th Amendment, which I know that you absolutely fear and despise, your tyrannical behavior would be limited and possibly eliminated. You wouldn't be able to get away with the things you're getting away with. Now, I have not heard you. I have not heard you, Prime Minister Trudeau, say one word of condemnation against your buddies in communist China. You know, your buddies who enslave women, who enslave children, who when people speak up, they send to the gulag camps. You know those products you're getting from China as the products that we're getting from China here in America? They are being built and put together by people enslaved. So, Mr. Tudeau, if you're so uh, caring about rights of people, especially rights of women, then how about speaking out against your communist buddies? You're in no position to, con to concern yourself with regard to what's going on in the United States of America. We are free people. We live by the law of the land, and the law of the land here is the Constitution of the United States, not Joe Biden. You are supposed to be extending to your people 
that they are to live by the law of the land under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, not under your law, not under your fist. Now, your supporters, I know, are going to get on the Internet later and say, well, who are you? You're, you're an American. Who are you to interfere with our uh, internal affairs? Well, I'm not interfering with your internal affairs. Just like I don't believe you're interfering with our internal affairs. You see, it works both ways. The difference between you, Mr. Trudeau, and your supporters and me and the people of this country is we welcome your criticisms. We welcome your voice. Because unlike you, who jails people who are exercising their free speech, who unleashes police forces unchained to do the things the world saw with regard to that peaceful trucker's convoy, Unlike you, we welcome your voice. We welcome your dissension. Because in America, we let everyone, everyone like you, Mr. Tudor, and your supporters, we let everyone like you to have the right to show the world how foolish and uninformed they are. And you are foolish and you're uninformed. I find it incredible that after what we all know, and when I say we, all of us, freedom-loving people, all of us leaders across the country involved in politics and out of politics, we all know that you are a friend of the Communist Party. We know that. You hug up to China. You hug up to some of these leaders that are unbelievably very open against freedom and liberty. But that's the way it is, isn't it? Well, I've got news for you tonight, Mr. Tudo. Your words are not going off very well here in America. And I've got to tell you, they're not going up very well. And you're probably saying you don't care. Well, maybe you don't care, but you might want to care. And in a minute, I'll tell you why. But your words are not going off very well because we, the people, control this country, not your buddy Joe Biden. We, the people, control this country. And we control it within the framework of the law, as you saw demonstrated by a long, long, many, many years process of bringing this issue of abortion, of the right to life of young children to the Supreme Court. We don't try to the best of our ability to, to delay, delay, and delay. Unfortunately, that is what has happened over the years. I'll admit that because the Democrats didn't want it to happen, but eventually the people won. The only side in a battle like this, the only sides are the tyrants and the people. In America, the people win. We always win. So I'm going to ask you, Mr. Tudeau, as I close this this very short and brief response to you, I'm going to ask you to do something. In fact, I'm going to extend to you an invitation. I invite you to watch the power of the American people in November. We're going to defeat your Democrat communist buddies here in the United States of America, and we're going to take our country back. See, we're not afraid to speak out against our government, as your people are not afraid. But our government knows its limitations. We'll see violent people and violent demonstrators, and I support that, get locked up and go to jail where they belong. But you would never see freedom-loving people who acted within the framework of the law, exercising their freedom of speech like the people in your country did during that trucker's convoy and the protest against your rule. You'll never see that happen here. I'm not saying we're perfect, but I've got to tell you, we have a constitution that we live by, work by, and you've seen it work. So I invite you, just watch what happens in November, because you're not going to have many friends here in the United States government. I believe that, unless you shape up, unless you shape up. Now, who am I, you're saying, who am I uh, to, to tell you uh, to shape up, to speak these words? I'm just a regular American citizen a grassroots person. Yeah, I'm involved in politics here. Yeah, I got a lot of influence. I know that. But I am just one person of millions who God has given the ability to speak up to people like you, to speak to power. But you see, the reality is you don't have the power. You don't have the power. The people have the power. And you should be proud of the people of Canada who have exercised their uh, rights of, of freedom and liberty within the framework of the law. They've demonstrated that to the entire world. You should be standing on a mountaintop proud of that, but no, you're proud of the, the rules and regulations, uh, the fact that you wanna limit what's coming into your country over the internet, 
the fact that uh, you're, you're doing all sorts of things that only are invented and born in a communist country. That's what you're proud of. And if you're questioning, well, who am I? I mean, what, what right do I have to criticize you? Well, I have the rights under the Constitution of the United States of America, rights that you cannot touch. And so I invite you again and again and again to watch what we do within the framework of the law. No riots, no violence, but going to the voting booth, going to the voting booth and doing what we must do to take our country back so that our government becomes once again a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Now, why do I invite you to do this, Mr. Trudeau? I invite you to do this because one day, one day what you see happen in November in America, you're going to see the Canadian people do the same exact thing. They're going to work within the framework of the law. They're going to work within the Canada's Charters of Rights and Freedoms, and they are going to do the same in your country. They are going to take Canada back. They're going to take their country back. They're going to take their country out of the hands of tyrants like you, because just like us, we're going to take our country out of the hands of tyrants like Joe Biden and, and, and his communist buddies. That's what free people do. No riots, no violence. There are going to be a few out there, I know, that are going to cause trouble. We know that. We have that happening now in the United States, but that's not the majority of the people. The majority of the people in the United States and in Canada are hardworking Americans, hardworking Canadians that want to pay their bills and do what's right. But they don't want their freedom taken away from them. They don't want their liberties taken away from them. But by all means, they will do what they must do within the framework of the law. Within the framework of the law, something you don't understand, Mr. Tudeau. I wonder, you know, you criticize my country. Did you, did you work within the framework of the law of your Charter of Rights and Freedoms when you unleashed police on people who broke the windows of truckers' private property, who conducted some sort of ridiculous raids on churches and arrested pastors? Did you do that within the framework of the law? I, I don't believe you did. Maybe you think you did, but I don't. But you see, the world saw this. So you opened your big mouth. You opened your big mouth criticizing my country over something that we did within the framework of the law. You see, Mr. Trudeau, what you revealed is that you have a problem with people working within the framework of the law. That is exactly what you did. And that's the way it was picked up here by millions of Americans. You reveal that to us. Why would you criticize an issue in this country that was in the courts for many years and all of us work within the framework of the law? Why would you criticize that? You criticize it because communists don't believe in the framework of a law that was built by the people, of the people, and for the people. That's why I say your words backfired. So, Mr. Trudeau, in closing, I say this. If you truly believe, if you truly believe in freedom and individual rights, then I challenge you to tear down this 21st century Iron Curtain that you are building against the free world. That's right. You are building a 21st country, a 21st century Iron Curtain. Maybe not a physical wall like in Berlin, maybe not the old Cold War Iron Curtain like in the Soviet Union, but when you talk about limiting free speech, when you talk about taking individual rights, when you talk about building some sort of electronic cyber system to regulate what people can see and hear in your country, you are building a 21st century iron curtain against the free world. I challenge you to tear down that wall. I utter the words that Reagan uttered when he was in Germany and Gorbachev was in power. Tear down this wall that you're building, Mr. Trudeau. And after you tear down that wall, Mr. Trudeau, after you tear down that wall, you're going to hear three words. Three words not only from Canadian citizens, not only from American citizens, but three words from free people across this planet. Three words that you probably despise. Three words. Let freedom ring. I'm Lieutenant Stephen Rogers. Have a good evening.